Justine's already on her next step to tracking down the gibbons. She's going to build a platform up one of the giant forest trees. Her crossbow fires a line over a high branch. Hey, perfect. Go right through the right branch. <laughs> I was really relieved at that, actually. I thought it was going to be a nightmare. This is just the beginning. I've got to get the platform up. The hot and sweaty job of carrying the metal platform up the steep slopes falls to biologist and mountaineer Steve Baxter. It's about the weight of a small child and made of solid aluminium. And I'm very, very glad that it's not me that's going to be living on it for three weeks. No. Back on the trail of a clouded leopard, Tara's making a plaster cast of the footprint. Having physical proof it lives here is vital. The clouded leopard is one of the rarest and most endangered animals in Borneo. So maybe if we find animals like the clouded leopard, we might be able to raise the status of this area, of this very unique habitat, so that it can be protected for posterity. The canyon may be remote today, but could be threatened tomorrow. Once this great southeast Asian island was all rainforest, but every year a million trees are felled. Every year the plantations creep closer. Down in the lowlands, the rows of oil palms start and stretch as far as the eye can see. 20 years ago, this was all rainforest. For the team to help conserve the canyon as a nature reserve, they need evidence that it's home to a rich variety of wildlife. From now on, Justine will spend each and every day perched on this square of aluminium. It's always a bit nerve-wracking though when you go up a tree again, having not, not um, climbed for a while. It's a lot higher than it looked from the ground. <laughs> the tree is higher than the Statue of Liberty. If we see any gibbons, I think they're going to be extremely nervous. You know, it's a remote spot. It hasn't, you know, it hasn't been anyone here, let alone people up trees. With the help of the climbing team, the platform is hauled up the forest giant. Probably a little bit higher. Rainforest trees can grow over 70 metres high, but they are precarious, with their shallow roots clinging to thin soils. If a storm blows in, they can easily crash to the ground. But if you're serious about finding gibbons, this is the only place to be. Now Justine must sit and wait. <laughs> 